So one question that we see asked a lot around webhooks is what's the difference between a webhook versus a callback? So webhooks are an API pattern. So it lets webhook consumers subscribe to event notifications for specific events. So the example that we always like giving is Stripe and potentially like when an invoice gets paid. So if I'm a Stripe user, I might want to tell Stripe, hey, anytime an invoice gets paid, can you please send me information about that invoice and the status uh, to this specific URL? So it lets a service like Stripe um, and their customers uh, communicate based on events that happened in Stripe and the customers can get notifications of those events. Um, and I think the reason why people ask to compare webhook and callback so much is because webhooks are also called callback URLs. Um, so you know, when this event happens, you call back and send a message to this URL. Uh, but I think callbacks in general have a wider use case. So you know, you might have heard like a callback function. Um, really, a callback is just a function that is passed as an argument into another function and they get executed uh, whenever something finishes, right? And so I would say basically a webhook is kind of a callback. So it's a subcategory of callbacks uh, in general. Um, so I would say like kind of in general, the main differences is that, okay, like you're kind of working at a different level of, you know, uh, this is like a specific API pattern versus a callback function is just defining types of functions. Um, webhooks are a specific communication method for um, two services to, you know, send and receive HTTP requests to each other. Um, the the scope is different. So webhooks are used for, again, this specific H sending HTTP messages, whereas callbacks on the other hand can be used, you know, for really any purpose, as long as you're using a function inside of a function. Generally callback functions are used inside of a specific application or environment, uh, and usually for managing asynchronous operations or handling user interactions inside of one application. So another difference would be that webhooks are essentially, um, programming language agnostic. Um, you can write a webhook in Python and JavaScript, as long as you're predefining some sort of URL and then making an API request to it, that's a webhook, it doesn't really matter. Whereas kind of callback functions are gonna be written differently in different languages. Um, so you're gonna need to kind of understand how to write a callback in different situations. Webhooks are inherently asynchronous. Um, so again, it's like a smaller scope, a smaller use case. Um, they get triggered by, you know, some event that happens and they're not really expecting a, a response. Um, whereas callbacks, you know, again, it's, a, it's really just a function inside of a function. So they have a much wider use case that can be used for synchronous applications, asynchronous applications. It really depends on what you're trying to do. So, you know, in summary, kind of the main difference is that kind of webhooks are a type of callback. Um, they're both kind of ways of handling events and enabling communication between two different components. But again, the scope is different. Uh, webhooks are more specific um, in terms of how they're implemented. And then callbacks are, you know, most of callbacks are employed within a single application itself um, or, or a single programming environment. So if you listen to this video and you thought, okay, well actually maybe webhooks sound like what I need you should check out Svix. We have a service for sending webhooks um, and it becomes very easy to just implement Svix and you get essentially all industry best practices for a webhook service. Um, and it's just an extremely reliable and scalable solution for sending webhooks to your customers. Thanks.